What is up guys? I am back with another video finally. Uh, this is going to be a boundless prediction for uh, the spring 2024. Should hopefully be coming up pretty soon. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! is not in a very good place at the moment. The top deck right now is Fire, which is both Snake Eyes and uh, Pure and the Fire King variation. Uh, both of them are very expensive unfortunately. Voiceless is decently expensive even as a rogue option. And some of the other options are just really uninteractive stuff like flu and branded. Um, so the game is not in a very good spot. It needs some major changes. It's not looking to get any better with the upcoming set releases like the uh, Tenpai Dragons, which we'll have as one of the top decks coming up. It's just extremely uninteractive, unfun to play against. Uh, just absolutely horrible. If you look in the OCG, you'll see what's coming, and it's it's not good. So. Here are some changes that I think uh, could realistically be made by Konami. Obviously there are more changes that are needed to actually fix the game. So the game, game is still going to be deeply flawed, but here are some things that could potentially happen. So for the top deck, like I mentioned, we have Fire. Um, I just played this at a regional last week and I played it at YCS Las Vegas as well. Oh, that, that's where I played Fire, Fire King and then last week I played Pure Snake Eyes. Um, yeah, it's definitely the best deck in the room. And also one of the most popular and uh, very expensive on top of that so snake eye ash could be limited i don't think there's any chance that the card gets banned they still want to make money off of this deck so i think they may not hit the wanted engine either like the uh, like wanted itself and which i don't think those cards are going to get hit because of how pricey they are which basically allows them to sell agov and uh, you know some of their other product um, so I think Ash, since it's a cheap card, could be limited safely. It would be a pretty big hit to the Fire deck. It still would probably be one of the best decks in the room, but I think it could be a safe hit. Off Lambert's Dragon, either limit or ban on this card. I don't think they're going to ban it because that's a pretty harsh hit on the deck. Um, so again, in order to sell product, I think they will could potentially limit this card. Um, it makes the Fire King version probably the best way to play the deck because the pure version does rely on having two of them so that takes away one of the options for playing the deck um one for one i think could just be banned outright there's no reason for this card to exist it's just a very powerful consistency boost that's mostly being abused by fire decks at the moment um and it's just fundamentally a broken card that's always going to be good as long as good level one monsters are printed so they could just ban that. Uh, Anti-spell. I mean, this card has been plaguing every format for the past couple years. It's time to go. Um, I think they could actually ban it because of how long people have been wanting it to be gone. Um, it's about time. Shifter. Uh, as much as I want them to ban this card, I don't think they will. They might semi-limit it like they've done in Master Duel, which will not do enough, but I guess it's better than not hitting the card at all. Um, yeah, we have Flu and Cash that are still decks, and then other random decks that are just citing this card is just uh, very toxic, <clears throat> and it needs to go. Prosperity still needs to be limited. Right now it's being used primarily by Voiceless, but as long as it's in the game, there's always going to be good top tier decks that are getting, being able to dig six cards into their deck, which is just not cool. The card should be limited. Um, summon Limit should definitely not be at three either. This card has also been uh, plaguing this format in particular. Um, just going post siding second against Voiceless or even against Fire decks. The, the fact that you have to deal with their board and then on top of that, you might just lose to Summon Limit is, is just very cringe. So Summon Limit needs to be hit. Uh, they're probably not going to ban it. They might just put it to one like the other Floodgates, like Tikaboo and Rivalry and all those cards. <laughs> Uh, King Calamity, I know right now it's not being played, uh, like, at all. But since Shirani is getting support in the future, I think this card will continue to just be... It's just a just a horribly designed card. I don't think it's that great, honestly, but it's just uh, not healthy to have in the game. And should be banned. Might as well do it now. Um, yeah. Uh, Barrier of the Voiceless. This card, if you play it against Voiceless, is probably one of the most annoying to deal with along with summon limit um 
they don't want to kill a deck outright so they can put it to one and it'll be a pretty big hit to the deck because you can actually interact with their board and they don't get like a you know a free search every every single time uh, it makes the deck less consistent and the end board is less oppressive to deal with so i think one probably putting that to one would be safe uh branded needs to be hit i mean they've really been avoiding this for a long time i think they can put banded fusion to one um like they've done in master duel but most importantly they need to ban sanctifier this card has not been used for anything healthy since its release um it's just basically branded expulsion on legs untargetable it can't even be super polyed uh it's just it's just disgusting uh this card needs to go uh, banning the gimmick puppet nightmare will not solve the problem because they are like a billion other uh targets that, that do pretty much the same thing so get rid of sanctifier please <clears throat> out, I can see them hitting this card as well because it's specifically because it's being abused by uh, the top deck in the room. Um, I don't know that they need to hit cross out, but I could see it happening. Like it just seems like something that they would <laughs> do at this point. Um, again, to be in line with the OCG slash Master Duel. Um, Featherstorm needs to go. I don't need to say much about that. Uh, Runic is still seeing a lot of popularity. I think it needs to be further hit. It's not, again, it's not being used for anything healthy. It's just all stun, deck out strategies. So tip to one and fountain to one should be enough to keep the deck in check. So we just don't see any of it anymore. Um, so yeah, these are some of the changes that I could potentially see Konami doing. Um, will they actually do it? Who knows? We don't know when the ban list is because they don't communicate. Um, so who knows how this game is going to be? Might just be playing Pokemon from now on, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys want some more Master Duel content. It's been absolutely horrible to play, so I haven't been playing it too much. Uh, it's just like the TCG, but with Maxi on top of that, so <laughs> not, not fun. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.